Hello and welcome for a, back for another stream of Sunhaven. How are we all doing this Sunday? Miserable outside. Old character. Okay. The last time we left off, we had finished the storyline. I don't know if the storyline's completely finished. Oh yeah, onions and adamant bars. Blah blah blah. Okay. Let's check on our vegetable. <laughs> Lovely. More beans. What have I got in here? Oh, loads of stuff. Okay. Let's put our fish in our fish tank. Oh, we've not got a full fish tank, that's right. Not yet. So we'll put them in there. You're floating about. What else do we have in our inventory? And that's all everything. Hmm. Hmm. The potions in here for just spell damage. Need to have a look. I think we need that one. For the museum. I think we do. I need to check if we need this elven book. Things that needs to go in our tank as well. Are you done yet? Yeah. Oh, we're getting there. Mm. 
I think these are ready. Yeah. Pops, good. We need these. Oh, you're ready too. <laughs> and what? Are they? Ah, these are overs. What we need? Pearl. Oh. Strange. Just move you over a bit. That'll do. <clears throat> we'll need to get another one of them next summer. Oh, it's just the candy cane and two trees. Pots go in here. Um, oh. oh, that looks nice. Right, hold on. I'll get my candy canes. Because I have loads of them. Yes, I have lots of candy cans. <laughs> Pineapple. Oh. I think there's anything else we can make. Apple. I not brought any pineapples. I thought I did. Pineapples were from summer, weren't they? Okay. Sparkling dust. Wait a minute. Oh, I must have put it on the put in the one outside. Get some of them made. Uh, sparkling dust. Seven. Can make stuff for these. They're good for fish. Okay. There we go. I don't think there is anything you can make with yams, is there? Not in there. I'll put the peas on. See and then for yams. Oh 
Oh yeah, there is. There's candied yams. Which we need sugar for. We kind of need to wait. On the sugar going. Okay. There we go. So we've got the coal bars we need. We don't have any star fruit. We have the the heart bakes. We don't need to wait for them. We can go in there. So and I'm sure there's something we can make with these prickly pears I think they're called. Not in there. Being somewhere else. Cheesecake. some one of these oh my that's a lot of ice cream oh not on you is it in the ice cream <laughs> sand okay no i'm sure that seemed prickly in the jam then yeah oh you need eight of them okay Five mushrooms for some reason. Somewhere. the pears in there too. Yeah. <clears throat> Spend too much time. Ah. There. There you go. Right, hurt. Good. 
Let's see if we can put these candles anywhere. If they would look good in here. Out on the table. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. We need to head to... Oh, I don't get... Oh, it's cold milk. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, good. So... Other gate apartments, please. To the rooftop. How are we all doing, little guys? Oh, look at what you got back. Double. Don't really need the gold ones, but we can sell them. There's so many of these, I don't really know what we do with them. Oh my, okay. That's a lot of coffee. Oh, I should have made it's the same price. Fine. Okay, what have we got? have the have a
What have we got left in our inventory? There's stuff to sell, that's fine. Do -do -do. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's my tea. I think that's everything. Yep. Okay, so what have we got to do? <coughs> Onions, we're growing. Coal, we've got five coal. Adamant bars, we have ten days left for them. So let's see how long they've got to go. Three days, two days, that's that's fine. We've got plenty of time for that. Right, let's go and complete some of these. Back to Sunhaven. There we go. Still need to catch that one fish. I heard a cat meow there. My ears are deceiving me. Oh god. So we've got four. Got four adamant bars then. I've got some in the chest. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm not happy. I left the coal. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cry. Yeah. Oh, that's devastating. All I need is five coal. I'll get five gold. Better just going back and <clears throat> picking it up. <laughs> Hello. We made out of bed. Why? Why would it just stay in bed? It's nice and warm. Burping. Yeah. There we go. Uh, some heaven. Yeah. And complete these tasks. Okay, so if we look on the map, where are we? <laughs> oh. Thanks, these should hold up for the rest of the fall. Okay, problems. We need combat. We need to level up our combat skills. Uh, okay, where are you? You are in here. Are you in the library? Yeah, you're in the library. Where's that? Man? 
Okay. Going to draw pretend tattoos. <laughs> oh, my name. Federation, okay. Lovely. Um, there's no one on the map that needs our assistance. So we'll go and check the board, see what they've got on. There is glasses, but I don't know what they're for. Oh, it's you. <laughs> so that's where those went. I have my backup here, but they're so scratched that I can hardly see out of them. I appreciate it, farmer. No problem. Um, farming as well. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck behind the desk. Uh, right. Check the board. Oh, hello, my little stalker. Sniff, sniff, I smell an acorn. Where is it? Dear. Ah, acorn milk. There we go. Okay. So, headache cure. One water crystal and two sandal. Sorry about that. I'm getting a bag of chips. <clears throat> okay, so we need two sand dollars uh, and a water crystal. I do like a bag of chips. I is guilty of chips. Okay. Um, two sand dollars. Have I got sand dollars in here? Yeah, one. Okay. Turn into painter. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm picking up there. So, one in there. Um. And one over there. Okay. Oh, I see how one is. Are these sand dollars? Oh, you requested the sand dollars. Just take the money. Okay. Oh no. Okay. There we go. It's 5 p.m. I don't know why this is popping up when it's already done.
Quite confusing because I don't actually know if um, they've completed the storyline. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they've completed it. Because if we have, then we can move on to a new game. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna go to the floor when I... It seems quite loud. Or is it just me? Okay, what have we got? Uh, a bone mouth bass. Okay, we can try and catch that. One dead eye shrimp. Again. Okay, where's the pop? Let me have a look. I'll need to have a look because I don't think that's the end of the story. I've not got any tasks to do. Unless this one's glitched. I have to do the storyline again. You have returned. Speak or cease wasting my time. Uh, how could you? Okay, you asked for me to stop spreading darkness. What a ridiculous request. I am Dynast the Moon Dragon. And you are nothing but a fool. There are none who dare challenge me. Why are you wasting your time? I have an offering for you. All your efforts for those people. This is what makes you weak. I don't know if this is starting again. All your efforts for those people. Still, you have proven yourself loyal and capable. Your help could be instrumental in the future endeavors. If this price of your loyalty means stopping my darkness, then I will respect your foolish request. I will keep my crystal hoard to maintain the darkness, only over Weathergate. I underestimated your determination. You would make a brilliant ruler for Sunhaven. What a shame you would rather be a pointless hero. Oh, there we go. What's this? Imbued with a mystic power, not quite of this world. This well is rumoured to be one of Dynasty's most prized treasures. A plushie. A glorious gold cup. Right sword. Mm. I don't know which one to take. Because mm. I don't think you can make a glow right sword. We'll take the sword. Uh, although we'll take the plushie. We'll take the plushie. Okay. There we go. <coughs> is, that, is that us? Okay. Hmm. 
cringe. Okay. I wish that tomato bread would go away. I have to try and complete it again. Maybe I need to become friends with them to complete that one. Try some fish. Turn that into juice. <clears throat> I'll need to have a look at um, what game I can play next. I think that fish is broke. Yeah, I'll need to have a look at what game I, uh, to stream next. I've downloaded, uh, I've got Fae Farm, that's a new game. Um, I'll have a look. There's one. There's two. Okay. Uh, how many? Just, just one. Okay. To the apartment halls, please. Maybe get back into paleo. Is that I liked paleo? It was good. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, look at you. Oh, my little babies. <laughs> okay. I might go back to Paleo actually. Paleo or Fae Farm? Oh, it looks like Tanya is waiting for you at your Sunhaven farm. She seems like she has an important news to deliver to you. Ooh. Oh. Earth top first.
I don't think there's anything we can make in here. Oh yeah, our dino plushie. Put him out here somewhere. The size of him. Massive. Oh, where am I going? Do -do -do. Do 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 do. Oh. I don't really know where to put them, to be honest. Maybe put them inside somewhere? Maybe. Okay. Right, tickets. Ooh, got a lot of tickets. One there? Okay. There we go. Right, down to the lobby. You're right there. <clears throat> no problem. Okay, and where would you be? Up, oh, right down there. to give him his meat. Uh, no problem. Come back. Wait, 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 wait. No! Donovan, slow down. You're too quick. It's my new favourite person. Uh, I hang around the carnival a lot. I wait for people to lose the game so I can step up and win right after. Honestly, how hard is it to count jelly beans? <laughs> Don't tell me you haven't been to the carnival yet. Man, you're in for a treat. The food is unhealthy and there are so many people that you can't escape the body odour. You'll love it. Uh, why wouldn't I? It's the city of darkness. What am I going to do? Just pass up the chance to live in darkness forever? I don't think so. Maybe I should try living in darkness for a while. Really? You? I would love to see that. You could show the human town that not everything is scary in the dark. Yep. There we go. 
Wow, me. <laughs> Don't mention it. Okay, let's go back to some healing. We are making friends. Okay, Tanya is here somewhere. Oh, hi. I've got mail. Uh, but package. I was working late last night, finishing off a few of my Archmage duties, which followed me home. I quite like to listen to music as I work, and I think you would as well. Please accept this gift, my favourite song to listen to. Perhaps it will be yours as well. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hey there, farmer. I was delivering the daily mail when the Archmage herself stopped me. Apparently she needed me to tell you to visit her in the town hall right away. It seems urgent. She was frazzled, to say the least. Excited, I mean, talking a hundred words. Oh, I'll get it in a minute. I can get it. Uh, she's normally so formal and composed. Whatever she needs to tell you, I'd get there as soon as you can. Thanks for letting me know. Let's have a look at this. What's up? Unlock. That was you know transforms you into a spinning ball. Not too bad. I'll go for that. Okay. Uh, we'll go and see. Here. Oh, too many. Too many. Okay, I'm back. I have chips and fritters from the chip shop. Oh, I'm nice and warm. Okay. We are going to the town hall. Oh. Yellow bean. There you are. <clears throat> What's going on? You won't believe this, but whether getting Alvare 
have just reached out to me. Official correspondence came to came just this morning. Alvari's messenger came riding on a cloud. Great way to get around, if you ask me. That's that's incredible. It gets even better. Leadership from both cities want to meet us in Sunhaven to pledge packs of peace. Here in Sunhaven? Unless they mean another Sunhaven, but I don't believe that's the case. <laughs> there is to be a great ceremony, of course, to welcome our honoured guests from Nalvari and Weathergate. We will act actually wondering if, if I could gather a few things for the ceremony. Uh, here we go. I guess you've come to expect being asked to get supplies, aren't you? But I also wanted to ask you ask that you attend the ceremony as well. You're the one we have to thank for this monumental occasion. I can do that. I know we could count on you. I have some things to do to prepare for the ceremony. Bernard can tell you what we'll need. Speak to him when you're ready. Got it. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Ah, uh, there you are. I have the list of required provisions right here. Quite a lot, but I'm sure you'll be able to manage just fine. You are a hero after all. I'll get it, don't worry. First, for ce celebratory pastries and cakes as... 400 wheat? That's a lot, but alright. After that, we'll need enough wood to construct a grand stage for the ceremony. Take about 900 logs! Of course, we need lots of tablecloths and napkins for everyone. We expect quite a lot of, of guests will attend. We will need there, no, oh my god, I'm gonna pass out. Indeed, but I'm confident you can gather what we need. Speaking of the grand stage, we'll need a lot of nails. Colin can handle forging the nails if you provide him with roughly 4,000. Oh my god. Oh dear, are you feeling well, Dylan? Your jaw is hanging quite low. Uh, hello? Aren't you going to say something? No. Uh, well, the last thing we need is fish. The sea insists we prepare grilled fish to cater all the guests. It may be a lot of people, so I estimate on the high side of their what? Something inside of your brain gives up. Yeah. You wobble on your feet. The world spins around you. Bernard asked if you're alright, but you don't hear him. You're too busy passing it out from all the mountains of blue tang you'll have to catch. Oh my goodness. I can't do all that. Where, where are you? Something about blue tang? Your head hurts? Well, take it easy. You're alright. Emmett ca carried you in here. They said you suddenly fainted in the town hall. Fish. Need fish. Got a fish. Hey now, just calm down. It's all going to be okay. You hit your head pretty hard on the floor when you collapsed. I examined you for injuries and you seem alright. If you can stop mumbling about fish, I'll just charge you. Um, right. I'm okay. Alright. You're going to go. Just be careful. You can't go around fainting all over the place like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Check my mailbox. It's gonna take me forever. Is that a sack of letters? They aren't all for you, are they? You'd better check that out. 
Every letter in the sack is addressed to you. Who could have sent them all? You open up the first letter. Oh, Jelly, I heard Bernard was asking you for a lot of stuff. I just thought I'd help out a bit. There's a bundle of blue tang included included in the letter. Well, that's a start on the 12,000 you have to get. You crack open another letter. Hey there, farmer. I heard you could use some help. It's not much, but I had been smelt it quick while we were between smithing orders. Bundle of copper bars. It's not much. But it's a start. Only 3,000. Jesus. More to go. There's hundreds of letters in this sack. Who else sent you something? You open a letter. Hey there. I heard you needed help. It was all I could get on such short notice. I hope it helped. I found this wheat growing in Liam's field. <laughs> I mined some for you. Hope it helped. I had some extra silk sitting around and I heard you needed help. I hope this wood helped. Helped. I chopped it myself. You've done so much around town, I wanted to help out too. You needed help, right farmer? Go on, take it. I heard you need help. We all pinched in a bit, we hope it helps. Hey, farmer. Aww. See, there's so many gifts in these letters, a little bit from everyone. They must have heard you needed help. You collect and count all of donations, you tally. Oh my god, 4,000 copper, 1,000 silk, 900 logs, and 399 wheat. Hi, farmer. Oh, hey there, pod. Mama was talking to Topi's mama and said you had a mental breakdown at the town hall earlier because Bernard said you had to get a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, I kind of did, I guess. Everyone said that was going to help. I wanted to help too. I was gro grown this week so I could make Mama a cake, but you can have it, farmer. It's okay, pod. You should keep your wheat. I want to help. Come on, farmer. Okay, okay, you win. Here you go. Pod hands you the smallest, most bloated stock of wheat you've ever seen, but it's still... Oh. Mama says it's going to be a big party. And she could go... We should go give this stuff to the town hall so we can have a party. Good idea, Pod. Oh my goodness. Should I eat some of my chubbish? Okay. That was a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh my. What do you have there? It's the stuff you ordered. It's ten tons of supplies. Oh dear, oh my. So so many fish. I'll have Emmett get to work on these right way. But I must say, I wasn't expecting you to have obtained everything so incredibly soon. Uh, I had a little help from some friends. Everything seems to be here and accounted for, but you gathered everything a bit early. It will be some time before the political parties from Weathergate and Nelvari arrive. When will we get here? I'm not sure. Lucia left this morning to organise everything. It could be weeks, though perhaps it will likely be several seasons. Uh, <laughs> I just got the box on his head. Oh, never mind. Here they are now. The moment is finally here. Negotiations were brief but fruitful. Myself and the leaders of Novari and Weathergate have only a few final things to decide upon. Hey Darius, what's with the box? 
curse that stupid map. I knew this human disguise was complete rubbish. <laughs> Something amusing, is it? Yeah, amusing. Oh no, not at all. I just have something <clears throat> in my throat. Um, <coughs> we have but a few more things to arrange for our announcement of our peace treaty. Oh, that is right, Jellium. Your archmage is very tractful in her po poet politics. Though it did not take much convincing to reach a conclusion that there should be peace friendship between our people. <coughs> Though I must say the trip between our two cities was quite the trek. These old bones weren't made for such long walks. Politics is a pleasure when you're working with someone as wise and kind as yourself, Gorwin. And don't be silly, you're still as, as spry as a springtime. Thank you for saying so, Archmaid, but I'm afraid my age is finally starting to catch up with me. Come, friends, let us finalise the details. We are going to assemble the whole town in a special ceremony meeting. You obviously must be there. We'll take care of the details. Simply let my clerk know when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. I believe everything is in good order. Do make sure you're wearing your very best outfit and that the time of day is agreeable with you. We will commence the ceremony immediately. Let's go. Oh my. People of Sunhaven, we gather here at the beginning of an amazement, amazing new moment in history. Not just for Sunhaven history, of course, but also Weathergate and Elvari. Weathergate? The monster town? But what about the monster folk? The darkness? Navari isn't that same old fairy tale. Look at those ferocious demons. They've come to conquer Sunhaven. I don't know about you, but the demon with the sword could conquer me any day. That's something I would say. <laughs> I have a buddy who's an elf. He doesn't look like those guys up there. Oh my god. The people seem to be divided in their feelings. Elder Gorwin, are you sure about this? Let the Archmage finish speaking, Weasley. She knows her own people far better than you are. I know what you all have heard. The rumours of Weathergate and of the darkness, but... Hero of Sunhaven has defeated the darkness. They confronted the mighty Dynas Moondragon. The crowd grows silent. Everyone waits to hear what is said next. I have with me representatives of the city of Weathergate. Darius is Weathergate's prince, and he has come to say something to all of you. Hear my words, people of Sunhaven. Weathergate only wishes to be left in peace. Dinus has agreed to keep his darkness no further than our borders. The monster folk wish none of you harm. Weathergate is here to stay, and so long as you wish us no harm, then there is nothing to fear. Hushed whispers are traded throughout the crowd. It seems not everyone trusts the demon prince at his word. They're willing to give it a chance. Maybe in time, suspicion will to friendship. Of course, the elven village of Novari is also here with us today. Gorwin is the village elder, leader of elves. Novari and Sunhaven have shared little history together, but Gorwin agrees that it is time to change that. 
Hello everyone. I am Gorwan, Elven Elder of Novaya. Novaya has been isolated for a very long time, despite being so close to Sunhaven. A future where Sunhaven and Novaya lived side by side rather than apart did not seem likely. Until blah 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 showed up at our doors. Of course, if the people of this town are even half as noble as Jellowin, then I believe we shall have no problems becoming good friends. The crowd cheers, cheering out your name. People clap, seemingly excited and hopeful to learn more about the lost elven village. Although I must confess that that for as much as I want some Haven and Novi to open up to one another, it is not my station to make such a decree. But El the Gorgon, what do you mean? It's decreeing friendship with Jellybean and Sun Haven, the whole reason we came here? It is, my apprentice, but only the Elder may decree such a thing. But what do you mean, Elder? We have an Elder. Oh no, you don't mean me, do you? But I'm retiring. There is a new age of age on the horizon, and I am old. There will be more meetings between Sunhaven and Novari. Truth be told, I think I'd like a break. R r retire But Novari, what will it do without an elder? And what about peace? Weasley, my dear friend, Novari does have an elder. Starting from this moment, you, Weasley, are elf <laughs> elven elder of Novari. Oh, I see. All right then. Hmm, you bad without do. Oh dear, someone please fetch Weasley, um, I mean the elven, elven elder a glass of water. Hold on, Lucia, I think he's starting to come too. <sighs> Are you quite alright, Weasley? Snap out of it. Uh, 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 the little green elf isn't going to fall over again, is he? <laughs> I, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, elder, what do you say to Sunhaven's proposition of friendship um yes that uh, as elder i accept thanks in large part to the efforts of dearly now Navari and sunhaven shall uh, be friends wonderful elders see you were perfectly ready for the job the crowd not entirely certain what all the talk about elder is about still tears in excitement at the elven elders decree Oh my, this is the beginning of a new era, one where Navari and Monster Folk will be able to live together with Sunhaven. Let old suspicions wither. It is time to grow the sprout of friendship. Let us stand together under the light of the new day for Sunhaven, for Weathergate, and for Navari. Yay! Well done. You have brought friendship between Sunhaven and its neighbours, so it shall take time for the people of each land to truly, truly being to trust each other. This is the first and the biggest step towards that end. More than that, however, you have humbled the prideful Dynas. You braved the dark swamps, ventured deep into the mystical elm forest. You've done more than any could have ever expected of you. I now know that it was fate that brought you to Sunhaven. I am pleased that you didn't rely on the power of Gorite. You knew that the power within you was enough. But rest now, hero. Our world is large and there are lands yet undiscovered. It may be that heroes will still be needed. When that time comes, it will be you that I count on. Until then, enjoy the fruits of your victories. Relax and live your life. Sunhaven's future burns bright and you deserve to bask in it. Is that the storyline finished? I hope not. Well, till the, maybe till the next update. Hmm, so sad.
I wonder if this is the end. Because if it is... What I could do is... I could go and... Um, start up uh, either Fay Farm or Paleo a wee break to finish my chips. I wait till the end of this day. I'm not sure what to do if that's the end. Till the next update. Speed up the day. Now, have a look at what game I can play and download it. Come back on. <laughs> I do it like better. Oh, 
all that stuff for sale. Oof. That's a lot of juice. Four to beat. Price of that. Mental. Oh, that wee bone gift. I think it might be too early to sleep. Oh, oh pardon me. Yeah, it's too early. Get the flowers. Mm. I think it's like five o'clock. Maybe you can go to sleep. I don't want to just log out in case it doesn't save. I'll be back to see you again with this. Same with you, little man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Five o'clock, I would say. Okay. Well, it's still I wonder what time you can sleep out. are better than the flowers. <laughs> Come on, six o'clock. Okay. I can sleep now, can I? Okay. Right. Give me about... <coughs> Give me about a half hour to see if I need to download the game. Play. Um, so I should be back about half six. So I will see you then. Bye.